I'm going to show you guys how to get $2.5 million roughly every every minute. But first things first, I did not find this glitch. I'm not the founder of this glitch. I'm going to leave the link to the video of the person I found the glitch out from in the description. And Rockstar, do, please do not ban me because I'm not... There's so many other people doing this. And it's your fault for having it in the game, bro. You just got to patch it. Like... It wouldn't be in the game if you would patch it fast enough. Or I know you like you can't find out about it that fast, but still, it's not my fault. For I'm a broke boy, bro. <laughs> I need to make money somehow in this game. If it's gonna be grinding normally or grinding through exploits, but yeah, don't ban me, bro. If you cut the head of the roach off, the body and the legs still gonna live on their own. Don't forget. So, and if you kill it, it's just gonna leave a big mess for you to clean up. So you might as well just toss it out the toss it out the house of exploits and just let it live on its own. Don't let it get back in. But anyway, bro, <laughs> this race rate, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys from the start. The first thing you're gonna need to do is actually load up into an invite only session. You could load you could do this in any type of session, but invite only would be best, obviously, because you're not gonna be bothered by anybody. So yeah, if you don't know how to do that, just go to creator, go to online, go to creator right here, and then go to it. And once you load into creator, pause the game again, go to online, and it's gonna say go. Click go, and then it'll say invite only session, start one up, and that way you'll be fine, you won't be bothered, just don't invite anybody to it. And the guy, the guy whose video I'm linking is gonna be shorter than mine, because this isn't gonna be edited. So you're all live gameplay, so yeah. Once you once you got into the invite only session, you're gonna you're good. But I I'm just gonna tell you the requirements. I should have did that at first. You're gonna need one of these. You don't need one, but an oppressor mark two would be easier to travel from the locations that you need to get to. But you can use in, any personal vehicle. Um. So you're right right here is where you're gonna want to be because this is a garage and the second garage is right here and this custom race right here i'm going to link that in the description too that's he made the map for this glitch specifically that's why it's called easy money but yeah i'm gonna leave a link to that just if you have a social club just bookmark it and then you're gonna have to restart your gta and it'll show up but what you're gonna want to do what you're gonna want to have first off is a ceo office the best one to actually have is the Maze Bank Tower. Where's it at? No, wrong thing. Executive. You're gonna want this Maze Bank Tower because it's gonna sell for the most when you're doing the glitch. It's gonna sell for two mil. This one right here, if you have that, fine. If you have this one, fine. I had the cheapest one, bro. I had this one right here. That sold for 300,000. But the garages I had all maxed out, so that sold for 575,000. It doesn't matter which location you're at. If the garages are maxed, they'll sell for 575,000. So yeah, I, I quickly like switched over. I would get 800,000 every time. So I switched over from this. Once I made enough money to max out the garages, I, I got this one right here. Now, the only thing I'm gonna say is if you have like, if you don't have the Maze Bank Tower, your garages are maxed and you have like cars in every garage, max like full garages, don't buy this one. Cause I don't know what's gonna happen to your cars. Just don't buy it. Don't buy it until you could buy all the garages with it, and then your cars will be fine. Everything else will be fine, and your CEO will be the same. As long as you max it out and everything. So, yeah, like I had 13 cars in my um, in my CEO garage. It was in the office garage three. Once I switched over, I bought all three garages. I switched over. I'm gonna show you right now. You need something, huh? Right. And it's in Let my me office know. three still, like 13 night nightmare issues. <clears throat> this glitch is way better than duplication glitches, bro. Cause duplication with dupl duplication glitches, like bro, they're just they're way slower. You got a daily sell limit. You gotta wait eight. You gotta you can only sell eight cars every 30 hours, and you gotta sell a certain amount each hour. I was just showing y'all this to show you that I've been duping. I know I said it wasn't gonna be edited, but. I was just trying to show you, but 
these future socks are from my when I first started duping from last year, bro. I was such a noob, bro. I didn't know. They were all in the same office or garage. I did not know that they didn't sell for a lot when they were duped. I just knew that the original sold for a lot. But these Nightmare Issies right here are from like a couple weeks ago. I did like the one where you could fill the whole garage again. And that's, it was worth like 107 mil probably the whole garage because they each sell for 1.7. But I still haven't finished selling the whole garage. It's been two weeks. I still got 13 cars left. So that shows that this, this glitch is way better because I got twice as much in three hours bro and i don't gotta wait to sell anything but yeah i was just showing y'all that the nightmare issues were in three different garages i don't know if i said that but yeah this you could literally just get a ton of money bro i started this off with like probably like three mil but what you're gonna want is after you if you have an impressor or a vehicle whatever you just make your way over here what you're going to want to do is go to the Dynasty 8 website and buy, if you don't have them already, just buy at least six properties. It's okay if you have more, but the point of the glitch is to take advantage of the sixth and seventh slot, which is this one and this one. Take advantage of those two slots. So you want to at least have six, bro, at least six, because then this the seventh slot will be empty, which is perfectly fine. First thing you want to do, once you have all the six slots, is on the sixth slot, you wanna come down here, come down here to this garage location on the map, right here, and you're gonna to wanna to buy it for 28,000. So you're gonna to have to have a little bit of money, and then boom, just buy it, replace the sixth slot with whatever you have on it, and then get in your vehicle. Preston Mark II is the best, cause it's gonna help you, you know, finish the glitch the fastest, and it's gonna help you be able to repeat it faster more meaning more money in a shorter amount of time but any vehicle is fine and then you want to park it over here once you get here you're going to want to get off and go to this this garage right here which is literally down the road from it and that's i'm going to show you the point of this race in a minute but yeah get off your vehicle i got back on buy this one on the seventh slot it's twenty nine thousand. buy this on the seventh slot bam buy it on the seventh slot now, right, right after you do that, you're going to want to come over here and then load into this race. Just load into this race. And after you do this, you just confirm settings, you know, click play. And then on this alert, just accept it. And once you load in where you can see your car or whatever, just give it a second. Oh, this, this radio kind of slap, no cap. But once you load in, boom, you just want to back out of this. And it'll spawn you back where you were just where. And you could park your personal vehicle anywhere in that area. Because as you can see, my presser was on the dirt. And now it's spawned on the road right here. So what you want to do right when you get out of that, just go to the website. Go to money and services. Go back to, um, no, don't go back to anything. Go to Dynasty 8 because you might have not been there. If you already had the properties and then you want to um just buy the cheapest one bro buy the cheapest property bro and then you're going to replace this property as you can see that garage sells for two mil now i don't know how i don't know how the ceo garage mixes with this but don't question it bro just know that the glitch works don't don't worry about how it works you want to just trade that in boom 1.9 mil pretty much two mil it just cut off a little bit obviously and then you want to buy this property the next cheapest property and put it on the seventh slot which is gonna, that's going to be your garage price five hundred seventy five thousand. just replace that boom that's 2.5 mil that easy bro it's that easy bro after you do that just back out of all of this get back on your vehicle once again the pressing mark two will be best do so self down here and then this is where we're going to get into the part where you can rinse and repeat it like i i literally Okay, I think I started the glitch with 8,000 actually after I bought all the properties I needed. And look at what I have now 223 million. All the three hours of grinding, bro. That's over 100 mil an hour and 30 minutes. But yeah, get off your vehicle. Just come back down here. Back down here. Buy this garage. And then you're just going to put it in the sixth slot again. Always put it in the sixth slot. 
I don't know what happens if you put it in the seventh slot, none of that. Just put it where I said to put it because that's how it works. That's how I know it works. That's how the guy I watched the video said it works. Oh, if that happens, just don't worry about it. It's not going to affect the glitch at all. Go back outside and continue where you were at. I did like like five times out of the whole time I've been grinding this. But yeah, get back on the oppressor. Just come back down. You're just going to rinse and repeat. Just go down there. And then buy that property, put it in the seventh slot again. I'm just showing y'all one more time at a faster pace. Buy this, bam. 29,000, seventh slot. Go over here, start the race up. Wait for it to load in. Just wait for it to load in. And then you wanna just Bro, I'm getting a notification, so it might have cut something out. But just I'm just right here. Confirm settings, play, and then start the job. Exit. Once you get into the car screen, it's an easy glitch. Pretty easy. Just quit the job. If I said anything done, bro, just bro. I've been up for over 24 hours, so don't mind me. Forgive me, bro. But yeah, just get on your phone and do it again. Just keep repeating it. Oh, just keep repeating it, bro. It's literally unlimited money, bro. Unlimited money. This is way better than duplication glitches. Like I said, I, I'm a, I've been a duplicator. Been doing IC duplication glitches. This is way faster. No daily sell limit, none of that, bro. It's way faster, bro. Just buy the property, replace it. Bam. And then, yeah. And when you go to that website, make sure to filter low to high because you'll get the cheapest properties first. So you don't have to scroll all the way down. And just keep rinsing and repeating it. That's all you got to do. That's literally all you got to do. I'm done grinding this. I've been grinding it for three hours. Not straight, but I've been grinding it for three hours. Uh, just tell your, tell your friends about it because, you know, it's fun being rich, but being rich by yourself kind of suck because you're going to gonna have friends asking for shit all the time. So that's going to get annoying. And then you're going to have them fake friends trying to leech off you. Just drop them niggas fast, bro. Drop them ASAP. Stop talking to them. But, yeah, it's better if you rich with your homies, bro. So, yeah, just tell your friends. Share the wealth. And, yeah, just grind this hoe. Make as much money as you can. Buy everything in the game that you want. Save some money, too. Shit. <laughs> Peace.